How's it going everyone? My name is John and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll show you how to create a super easy logo using Figma for literally absolutely free. This is not another YouTube video where you have to use a certain website with templates and everything. This allows you to create a logo for free that you can customize 100%. So let's jump into the software and show you how I do this. Right, so this right here, this is Figma. This is a free to use software. You can use it within your browser or you can download the actual software onto the computer like I did. Uh, let me get rid of this window. And it looks complicated at first, but if you ever used Photoshop or anything like that, you will know that this is super easy to use, okay? So for this example, I'm gonna create a quick logo for myself. Um, I already got a logo, but I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. Uh, using the let letters JD, okay, so um, We're not going to use the text tool, but I'm just putting them here just so we can have a reference So my idea is to create a logo a little bit like this This is a logo which I've done before and I've never used for my business But I've thought about it See how you have the J and the D forming almost in a circle so that would be quite a cool logo, right? JD, John Decibel, there you go. So what do we need to create this logo? First of all, we need the circle, right? So let's create a circle. You just click. Okay, so the, f the easiest way to create a circle, you press O on your keyboard. That's a shortcut to go in the, cr in the um, shade tool here. Otherwise you can create a click up here and then go on ellipse, okay? Right, so click O on your keyboard and then hold down shift and drag and that's a perfect circle, okay? I'm gonna make it 50 by 50 for the sake of this example. Right, after I make um, a circle, what I want is to create this line down the middle, right? So I click into it, so you double click into it and then you press P for the pen tool and you click on this top one and then on the bottom one there you go perfect All right now we have a circle almost that's cut in half almost right it just has a um, it just has a line down the middle All right then we cr let's give it a stroke which is centered okay so if we look back at this we want a little gap here and then we want a gap here at 45 degrees All right so let's get rid of the big 45 degrees first because that's the easiest part so the easiest part is just click this line here and then press either delete or backspace and there you go you got rid of that 45 degrees there and then we have to make a decision on how much do we want to take off here so the whole logo is 50 i'll probably take let's do five we'll take five off cool so let's click into this go to our five here press p on the keyboard remember p pulls up your pen tool you click here and then escape and then you press v for the selector tool you click on the section and then you press backspace and then you deleted your that section you can't see it yet because this is in the way so let's click out of the shape click on this shape press the backspace to delete it and then you got a j and a d lovely so the first thing now that I can think of is drag this over, make it a little bit thicker. The only reason I keep dragging them over is to track my progress so I can return to a previous um, to a previous version if I do mess up. So if I do something here, silly, so let's say I convert it into a shape using com Command Shift O, and now I want to delete some points and I can't, I can always just return to the old shape. Anyway. So command Z to undo. Right, so now I want to increase the thickness of the line a little bit. Give it a little bit of oomph. And you can see that here that you got a little bit of a weird line here. You could either cut it straight or leave it like this, depends on your on what you prefer to do. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go back and just quickly recreate this because see I I forgot to duplicate it so i'll do it i'll speed run it circle 50 by 50 double click into it 
pen tool lovely b delete this give it a stroke of five and center it there we go we're back here so let's say what if I want just a straight line to cut through? So imagine I have a straight line like this instead, but I want it to be the width of five, okay? From the center. How can I do it in order to have a straight line going down? So what you can do, so let's copy that over. Let's take the shape, duplicate it over. Oh, by the way, to, to duplicate it like this, you hold down option or alt if you're on windows and then you click and drag and then you can duplicate it okay or you can command c and command b and that makes you another version right and then i can grab my shape how much i want to cut out of the, sh the shape i can double click on it so i can line it up properly so that's three let's just do five from the middle just to make sure Three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then, if I select both of the shapes first, before I do anything, let's duplicate this over once again. So if I go here and subtract, oh yeah, that's gonna work. There you go. Now, let's say you're not happy. Let's say that's too thin. Maybe you want it a little bit thicker. You can click into the shape, and actually because this is a live shape you can actually click into it and make it wider there you go cool so now i want to flatten this using command e and now we have a good shape but before i flatten it i have to duplicate it so command e here we are and then i want to make another circle uh, click on your keyboard and then shift send it to the back by holding down option command and square bracket there we are give it a stroke of five as well and then by holding alt and shift you're holding your your ratio while growing it from the middle there we are and then i'm just gonna center it there we are so here's a really super quick logo that you can make by yourself in a free software that you can run in your browser or you can download it for your computer i mean you got nothing to lose honestly i know it's not the best logo in the world but this is just for um demonstration purposes and if i want to add some text to it i can here's my name let's say i want a futura let's say i want it to be bold let's say i want everything to be in capitals There you go and this took me let's have a look on the recording it took me nine minutes to make nine minutes to make from scrap i mean it's gonna take you half an hour maximum with downloading the software if you choose to download it anyway i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want more videos like this explaining how to use figma for graphic design or if you want to learn illustrator or photoshop or anything like that let me know and i'll help you out also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you did find any value in this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.